So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the fastest and most effective way to unfollow people on Instagram without getting action blocked. What's going on guys, it's your boy Dre here from Wisdom Speaks and welcome back to another video. So I've noticed that a lot of you guys out there are creating your personal brands, you know, and theme pages. So I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys to make sure, you know, everything is looking nice and clean and, you know, professional. So you can gain more followers and attract more customers. So I've got two different methods you can use to do this. The first one you can use directly on Instagram. The second one you have to download the app to use it. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to get both methods because both of these are as effective as each other. So yeah, with all that being said, let's get straight into this one. So let me pull out my Instagram right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is my account right here, Wisdom Speaks. If you're not following, go ahead and follow me, you already know. Um, but I've got 2.2K followers and I'm only following 973. To be fair, I could be following less people, but you know, it's, it's all right for now. It still looks, you know, acceptable. For your Instagram, you wanna make it look as professional as possible. So you always wanna be following less people than you're following. Think about if you was to go on someone else's account and you saw that they had 1,000 followers and they were following like 3K people. Like you wouldn't really take it seriously, you know? So it's the same, so the same thing kinda of applies to your page. When people come onto your page, they're judging you straight away. You know, they're looking at your profile picture, they're looking at your bio, you know, they're looking at everything to see you know, if you're worth following. And if you're following way more people than you're following, then more than likely they're not gonna follow you. So, you know, this is why it's important to keep your following down. So with this first method, the way how you guys are gonna do it, um, it's very simple and easy to do. You just go to following. Um, once you're in following, you can see the categories. Uh, the first category is least interacted with and the most shown on feed. So it's gonna show you the people that you least interact with. So it's gonna show you 50 of those. And then for the most shown on feed, these are just the people that you most interact with, you know? It could be your friends, your family. They're gonna come up in this second category right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna click least interacted with. And as I said, it's gonna show you the top 50 people you least interact with. It. These people on the list are people that probably don't interact with you guys. Maybe you're in different niches or, or maybe you don't really talk to that person. They might not like your pictures as much. So yeah, they're gonna come up on this list right here. So what you simply have to do is just go down the list and just click on follow and literally just unfollow, you know, all of them. And don't worry about getting action blocked because you know, this is a feature that Instagram has added to their platform. It's obvious that they want you to unfollow people through this method right here, which is why they've added it. Because six months ago or even three months ago, I didn't see this feature on Instagram. So yeah, you go ahead, just keep on following, unfollow. And obviously if you have friends on there that are on the list then you know, you might not want to unfollow them. So make sure you check, you know, the usernames as you're unfollowing. So the best strategy I'd say for you to use with this method is follow 50 people every two to three hours. This is the method that I've found most effective and I haven't been action blocked um, while doing this. So this is the method I think that you should really utilize and don't go anywhere over 50 and then your account should be fine and you shouldn't be, you know, action block or shadow banned or anything like that. The most you should be on following per day is 250. So if you can split that up throughout the day, every two to three hours, but make sure you keep track of, you know, the times that you're, you know, following and unfollowing people. So now that I'm back on my front page, you can see that I've unfollowed a few people, not the whole 50, but I've unfollowed a couple people. So you can, you guys can already see that, you know, this method works and this is what I mainly use because I don't really like using, you know, third party applications to unfollow just because my account is, some of my accounts are, you know, have been flagged in the past. So I like to use this method and it's the main method that I use to unfollow people. So yeah, guys, that's the first method over with. I'm gonna go into the second method right now, but if you didn't know about this method that I just showed you, go ahead and drop a like down below, you know, just show me some love for that method. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the second method. All right, so for the second method, as I said before, this is gonna be an app you have to download. So grab your phone real quick and, you know, head over to the app store or the play store, depending on what you're using, if it's an iPhone or Android. So let me hop right into it on my phone. So yeah, once you're in the store, 
you go ahead and go to the search bar and type in mass unfollow for Instagram. And it should be the one at the top with the three ticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it because I used to have it before. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. So yeah, now it's downloaded. Go ahead and click open. And this is the screen that you'll get presented with. You can go ahead and type in your username and your password. If you wanna find the people that are not following you back, all you simply have to do is click following and then hit the select button. Once you hit the select button, you're gonna see this menu come up, select non-followers and then okay. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to load so it can find everyone that's not following you and you know, the ghost users. So as I scroll down, you're gonna be able to see all the people that are not following me, they're gonna have a blue ring around their profile. So um, there's two ways you can go ahead and, and unfollow all of these people. You can either select on their name or their profile and then that is going to bring you back to your Instagram and you can follow them that way or you can actually go back to the app and select action and unfollow and then it will unfollow all the people that are selected. As you can see, you know, there's a whole lot of people that are not following me back. So, you know, Instagram is not going to let me unfollow 700 people. As I said earlier, you know, it will just um, action block you. So yeah, I'm not going to do that, but if I want to unfollow someone, I'm just going to literally click here, then hit the unfollow button. And you know, that person's unfollowed. You know, I was following 956, now it's 955. Um, with this app now, I say you use it at your own discretion. In the past, I find that it can, you know, interfere with your Instagram. Like sometimes it flags up to Instagram that you're using a third party application and Instagram really doesn't want anyone using third party applications. So I tend to kind of stay away from this app, but you can use it as well. It just, it's just about how you use it and how many people you're on following. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do on this app. You can, you know, find your inactive users. You can find your ghost users, you know, and Overall, it's a really good app. So yeah, that's everything for me today, guys. I hope you guys found these two methods very helpful and I hope you use them, you know, to just get rid of the extra followers or extra followings that are on your account, you know, to make your account look more presentable to anyone that lands on your page and everything like that. So yeah, um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, you know, it really helps me on the algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, I highly recommend you hit that red subscribe button and that bell notification just to stay up to date with every time that I post. I'm going to be posting very frequently on this channel. I'm aiming for, let's say, two videos a week. So I'm going to be very active, you know, providing a lot of helpful content for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys again. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.